Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Three Stacks in this thing, and I wanted to do another fan favorite. Another fan favorite. We have a lot of free time, um, so we're just gonna take advantage of it and get a lot of content up. So uh, today we're gonna go over the Gym Knights, which is one of the most popular fusion decks of all time. Um, I think it can fuse more. It has the capability to fuse more than any other fusion deck, which is why this deck deserves an extra deck of like 40 cards. <laughs> I wish. But um, I love the deck so much. I love the artwork. Everything that it's about is just it's beautiful. So let's hop right into this. I've been running this deck going on five years now. Um, it started out as something completely different than what it is now. Three Armadillo, the uh, Stratos. This guy used to be going for nine a pop. Um, this is your Stratos. He searches any Gym Knight monster. He's really amazing. I wish he was a Gym Knight so that you could just search him. And then uh, one Turtle. I wouldn't change this Gym Ratio for the life of me. I just like how Turtle looks. Honestly, you can not run him and you'll be fine, but I just love how beautiful he looks. Uh, I like Turtle a lot. And back in the day when I was building this deck, Super Turtles were really hard to find. So I can't take him out because I just worked so hard to get him. If I took him out, I'd just be sad. And then uh, one Crystal Rose. Uh, this is just really broken. You can play this. Singer Lazuli. He becomes Lazuli. Lazuli's effect. Recycle. And then you can fuse. Like, this deck is retarded. I'm telling you, like, this is my favorite fusion deck. Like, I love this deck so much. And then uh, one King of the Swamps. So, like, I do run Poly to make First of the Dragons, but... Another thing is I just use him as a fusion substitute. And uh, opening with him and any vanilla just means you have first the dragons off tops. So that's kind of like um, the searching engine of the deck. And then uh, the cards you want to fuse with always are three lazuli and uh, three obsidian. These make your fusions pr pretty much costless. Like this deck is so consistent with the fusions. Like if you're able to fuse using this or lazuli and another monster, you practically fuse for one card. And it's amazing because Gym Knight Fusion actually comes back to your hand. So you really fused using one card, and your card economy is just decent. Um, so the fact that Gym Knight Fusion just keeps coming back really makes these guys broken. So you always want to run three lazuli, three obsidian. Like Gym Knights are really sick. The deck is just crazy good. Uh, two Amber. Um, I could run her at three, but just for the fact that I can recycle her in so many different ways, uh, three is not necessary. Um, in fact, I had to cut one of her just to make this a 40 card deck. And then uh, one Sardonyx. Then we've got the Vanillas, one Garnet, one Sapphire, and uh, one Lapis. And um, right now I'm abusing my Amber to keep getting back the important Gem Knight Fusions that I only run at one. I just banish them with Gem Knight Fusion, play her, use her effect to add them back into the extra deck, and then I can use them again. Uh, for spells, three Fusion Conscription. Uh, three absorb fusion these are pretty much your searcher spells uh, this happens to actually be a fusion and a searcher but I just use it like a rota and a fusion prescription is really cool because the monster you search naturally you're not even gonna use its effect you're just using this to load your hand with fusion materials so it's really cool then uh, three brilliant fusion um, honestly I think that this is better in gym nights than it is in any other deck but um, just at the release of this card, so many people are running it at different decks. I just think it's the best in its own deck because it's broken. You actually can make a broken combo with this, Obsidian, and um, Gym Knight Fusion. You just need those three cards and you just, wow. It's a crazy board. It's just wow. Now, uh, three Gym Knight Fusion, you can live off of one, but it's at three because I want to see this 24-7. As long as I have this and enough monsters, you can OTK for days. So uh, three Gym Knight Fusion, of course. And then uh, two polys. Uh, the polys are here because you just want more fusion cards. You'd be surprised. Even though there's a lot of fusion cards in here, there are times when you open without the right fusion cards. So if you don't have Gemini Fusion, you can only fuse once. So that's why I run two polys. Just as kind of like a safeguard. And it also makes the first of the dragons searchable. Why not? And it's recyclable through fusion reserve. Then uh, two MST, just uh, no back row. Naturally, the deck can actually bait out back row. You'd be surprised. Like... You can make one fusion, they strike it, cool. You make another fusion, they warn it, cool. You make another fusion, they flood get it, cool. Eventually, they're going to run out of resources, and you can still fuse for days. And then uh, for traps, three solemn strike, one solemn warning, one vanities, and then uh, one fusion reserve. Just kind of like, you activate this, it's just like another fusion conscription. The deck just searches a lot, like, man. Uh, I can dig through nearly half of my deck really quickly. And these traps, just kind of like, they're the best traps of the game. Just uh, this format would not be what it is without these traps. And honestly, a lot of decks wouldn't be able to, to compete without those traps. And uh, two first of the dragons. 
Uh, naturally, this guy, when you're going against Metal Folds, if they're not mixed with Magic Specters, their back row cannot hurt you. Their, their only back row they're running is combinations, counters, probably like a Vanities and Strikes. And the thing is, those traps don't hurt this, this monster once he's on the field. So when you make First of the Dragons playing against Pendulums, you know, Metal Folds, unless they negate his summon, which practically you can make this first turn, they're not going to be able to get over him. They can only kill him with Spell or Trap effects. And it's just, it's not happening. It's, it's really not like, um, I could see Rogue decks probably running Mirror Forces that could hurt this, but this guy can win you games against certain matchups. Um, like, there's just a lot of decks that run traps that respond to summons, but they don't run traps that deal with already established boards. So first of the Dragons is just, he's an MVP. And then uh, we got Master Diamond, uh, the King and the Queen, Master Diamond and Brilliant Diamond. <clears throat> uh, Master Diamond is just super clutch. Because he becomes any Gym Knight fusion that's level 7 or lower. So, like, you can make your, your Lady Lapis and then burn. And then you can make him and then burn again. Or you can go Seraphonite. And you can just use him. You can just abuse the effects so much. It's really cool. And then uh, 2 Zirconia. Uh, 2 Prismara. And I do take that back about Seraphonite. Because you actually only gain that effect once per turn. But he works for Lazuli. He works for Prismara. He works for Citrine. And uh, speaking of Citrine, when you make uh, your... Uh, where's he at? Your Master Diamond, he's going to be at like 3,000 plus. Let's say he's at 35. Banish Citrine, and now they can't activate any card effects when you declare an attack. And it's, um, I believe, until the end of the damage steps. So it's really broken. Uh, Prismar just pops any face of cards. Amethyst, naturally I make her just to fuse with her again because she'll bounce all the back rows. So you kind of use her when you're going for your game push. And then uh, Seraphonite and Lady Lapis Lazuli. And uh, the Xyz are just uh, Felgrand, Dracosac, and Durindal. Uh, and Felgrand and Durindal are just part of this combo with just Brilliant Fusion, Gym Knight Fusion, and whew, as long as you have Obsidian, it's it's just really really good. Like this is broken. So um yeah, I might do some combo videos for a couple decks, but uh, that's it for now, you guys. The deck is always going through changes. Like no matter what, I feel like all my decks can always be upgraded. Uh, but this deck has been through a lot in the years that I've had it. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning into the content. Thank you guys for being faithful to us. And I promise you, when we get bigger, we're not going to forget about anybody who was there. Like, we look at you guys like our day ones. You were there before we even were relevant, and you're still going to be there afterwards. So God bless you guys. Be safe. And thank you so much.